Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're a beginner and you just started looking for telescopes to buy, you will come across different types of telescopes. There is a refractor telescope, a reflector telescope, and a catadioptric, also known as compound type telescope. You might come across other types such as Dobsonian, schmidt kazegrain or maxitoff kazegrain or any other type. They all come under one of these main three types. Whether a telescope is large or small, these are the main types in which telescopes are divided. So in this video, we'll look at each type of telescope and see how they are different from each other. The first type is a refractor telescope. Refractor telescopes are the simple ones. It's a stereotype of how a telescope is supposed to look. It has a long tube with a lens at the front and an eyepiece at the back. As this telescope deals with refraction, they are also known as dioptric telescopes. A properly designed refractor telescope gives better and sharper images. As refractor telescopes use lenses instead of mirrors, it becomes very expensive to manufacture bigger aperture refractor telescopes. So usually you'll find most refractor telescopes with an aperture size of 4 inches or lower. The majority of telescopes, which have less than a 4 inch aperture, are refractor telescopes. Refractor telescopes are good for observing the moon and the planets. It will give you super sharp images. As these telescopes use lenses, they hardly need any alignment and you can start using it as soon as you open it from the box. These small sized refractors are truly grab and go telescopes. The only disadvantage of the refractor telescope is chromatic aberrations. When these chromatic aberration happens, instead of sharp image, the image looks like this, which can be overcome by adding one more lens. This combination is known as apochromatic doublet. You can still get some aberrations after adding second lenses. To correct this, a third lens is added. This type of telescope is called abochromatic triplet. The second type of telescope is reflector telescope. One of the biggest problems with the refractor telescope is that the cost for a bigger aperture is too much. So this problem is solved by reflector telescopes. These telescopes use a mirror to gather and focus light. The most common reflector we know is the Newtonian reflector. It is called Newtonian reflector because it was invented by Sir Isaac Newton. This type of telescope has a slightly curved concave mirror at the bottom of the tube, which collects light. The collected light is reflected to the top where a secondary mirror directs this light to an eyepiece. One of the most important parts of the telescope is its aperture, and if you want the biggest aperture for the money you spend, then the reflector is the telescope you should go for. One of the most common reflector telescope types you'll find is a Domsonian telescope. These telescopes give excellent performance for the price you pay for. The refractor telescope does not need any collimation or adjustment, however, you'll need to collimate the reflector telescope once in a while. The third type of telescope is the catodioptric telescope. Catodioptric is a branch of optics where you deal with mirrors and lenses at the same time. So all the catodioptric telescope use the best of the refractor and the reflector telescope to form an image. That's why it's called a compound or catodioptric telescope. The biggest plus point of these telescopes is that they are compact and lightweight. The telescopes which come under these categories are schmidt kazegrain or maxitoff kazegrain type telescopes. As these telescopes are compact, they're lightweight. Because of this, you can get a bigger aperture telescope that is easily transportable. Due to its compactness, the amount of the telescope is also not heavy. That's why many of these small size catadioptric telescopes are kind of grab and go type telescopes. Like reflector telescopes, catadioptric telescopes also need occasional collimation. When you compare the cost of these telescopes, it lies between the reflector and refractor type of telescope. For example, if you want to buy an 8 inch refractor telescope, then it would probably cost you more than $5,000. It's not beneficial to manufacture bigger aperture refractors. The most important thing is you need to find someone who manufactures a bigger aperture refractor telescope. If you want to buy the same 8 inch reflector telescope, it will cost you probably $800 to $1,200. If you want to buy the same 8 inch catadioptric telescope, then it'll cost you around 1200 to 2500 So this is how various telescopes are classified into the main three types. If you want to buy, then links to some good telescopes from all three types are provided in the description. I hope you understand the difference between the different types of telescopes. I hope this video helped you to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more technology related content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day guys. Peace.